Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a twin flame mini reading. Now, I'm calling these mini readings because I do channel general collective twin flame updates on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, these shorter form videos are meant to channel messages to reach specific groups of people, sometimes even small groups of individuals who need to hear certain messages from these readings that are more specific to them and to their situation. So as I always say, be sure to always use your own intuition above all else to really determine which messages are for you and which are meant for others. Door to spirits in the upright position is the first card to come out here. And I'm picking up on what I feel will be a divine feminine for most who are listening. Although for some, I do feel this could also be a divine masculine, but I'd say for 90% of people, this will be the divine feminine who's gone through some period of time that has been, I'm hearing very confusing or very unclear. And at times divine feminine, you may feel yourself still in this foggy or unclear energy, but what spirit or the divine wants you to know here is that something about this fog is going to be lifted. Right as I flipped over this card, I heard clarity, the word clarity, and I feel that I'm hearing that's what someone has really been needing at this time, clarity about something in their life. Specifically, I feel something about how to move forward with a particular situation that's very important to them, whether this is a relationship, even their twin flame connection, or whether this is something in their work or their finances. I see that there's been something kind of chaotic, messy, foggy, or confusing around this situation that this person cares very much about. I see a lot of passion here, but also a lot of chaos. So I want to know how this person is going to be receiving clarity. Angel of Balance. So this clarity is going to come from within yourself. Action in the reverse position. Wow, okay, very powerful messages coming together here. So this clarity for you that you've been seeking, that you've been really needing in this area of your life is not going to come by pushing by trying to force things into being through outward physical action. This clarity divine feminine that you need and that you've been seeking is going to come from inner balance within the self. And actually I'm hearing through taking time to step away from focusing so heavily on action itself, on how exactly you're going to push this forward and stepping into this space of alignment first. There's this feeling here of in the past, having tried to push or force, I'm hearing overworking yourself. So this could have been really burning yourself out for a person, a connection, a dream, a vision, a new business, whatever the case is, the number 17 may also be significant to someone. Also, I'm seeing the number 12 and 48 also. But I'm also hearing seasons of your life. Interesting. So this season of your life, there's been this season of a lot of pushing, a lot of chasing kind of energy around this thing, a lot of feeling as though you're really burning yourself out. And I see this person caught in this kind of chaotic spiral of feeling like they really have to overwork themselves. I'm hearing to make this work, whether it's with, again, a person, a job, a business, your life in general, whatever the case is, it's like, I hear them saying, I have to push so hard to make it go, to make it work. But really what I'm hearing your guides 
Yeah, the thinking man up, right? So the ego has been very much involved here as well because the ego, the analytical, the logical mind has been looking at this situation, this person, this connection, whatever the case is for you, because I do feel it will be different from person to person. But the ego here has been looking, analyzing this situation, using their logic and saying, okay, if I do X, Y, Z, I see someone specifically making some kind of plan where they're really pushing themselves too hard. I keep feeling like for someone listening, this has to do with some kind of vision you have for your life, but in the creating of the action steps toward this vision, you are really overworking yourself, overextending yourself, and then you burn out and potentially feel really down on yourself. But Really, it's because I'm hearing your plan may have been a little bit flawed, not because there was anything wrong with you or with those actions, but because you were focusing too much on the actions that you were taking and specifically the number and extent of those actions. There's just this energy of really trying to push things into place. And spirit here has been trying to guide you to get into that space of alignment i'm hearing flow states to realize that you are working with the energetics of the universe here i keep hearing projects so i do feel for many of you this may not necessarily apply specifically to your twin flame connection or relationship in an obvious way but what spirit is also saying here is that everything is connected so if you've been on a twin flame path as i'm sure many of you are who are drawn to this video and you're resonating with these messages, feeling a bit of chaos in connection with your twin flame or this twin flame path. And also you are in this space of really pushing yourself or overworking yourself or burning yourself out because you think that you need to, or it's what you are supposed to do. It's what you expect of yourself. Even though these things seem unrelated, they're actually connected that's the message I'm getting here. This lack of clarity you've been feeling potentially about your twin flame connection, about certain areas of your life that you might think is unrelated to this feeling of burnouts that potentially could be in another area of your life is actually symptomatic of the same energetic imbalance that you are now healing because what I'm really getting from this divine feminine is that she is learning how to move with the flow of the universe, which is going to make her magnetic in all areas of her life and is going to create this effortless magnetism between herself and her divine masculine counterpart as well. That's what I'm seeing. It's like all of these things are connected and everything here fits together for you being in that flow state in your life, allowing yourself, opening yourself to receiving in connection with other areas of your life work, finances, your life generally is actually putting you in this really energetically magnetic state of being for your twin flame connection as well. And that's the really profound thing that's coming into balance here for you. Now, if you are a divine feminine resonating with this message, I do feel again, all of these things are connected and this lack of balance that you might be feeling that could be creating this chaos or this feeling of pushing or forcing or chasing, know that it's completely normal because it's been normalized by a broken society and specifically a society we came here as souls incarnated here on planet earth to transform. We are, as humans and specifically as divine feminines, programmed with these ideas and beliefs from such a young age that they become really unconscious. And these programs come from our families, our friends, the media, teachers, everyone around us who is unconsciously trapped within these subconscious belief systems that are really limiting our divine feminine power by telling us that we have to work hard and push and chase and force the things that we desire into being 
When really, when we are in that fully awakened divine feminine state, we are really embodying that goddess energy, that effortless magnetism for what we desire in life because we've shifted our feelings about our own worthiness at the deep subconscious level. So everything must begin through the portal of the subconscious mind because the subconscious actually controls 95% of our thoughts, our actions, and everything in our life and therefore directly reflects in our energy field. And again, so much of the energy we're putting out there, these unconscious negative patterns actually play out so subconsciously we aren't even aware of them. So that is why I am so passionate about subliminal meditation because subliminals are meditation tools that are actually embedded with subconscious affirmations, meaning your conscious mind can't fully hear the affirmations, but this means that they're able to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deep lasting impressions on the subconscious mind, which again controls 95% of our thoughts, our actions, and outcomes in life. So because I'm so passionate about subliminals, I just saw the number 1155, by the way, if that connects with someone. But because I have seen so many results from subliminals in my own life, I've seen them transform my mindset and my reality. I've created them and now offer them through my website, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, I've created subliminals for all areas of life, including physical appearance changes, mood shifts, manifesting specific things into your life like money, business success, specific relationships, love and relationships in general, I have an entire category for. And also for Twin Flames, I do have a specialized collection of subliminals for Twin Flames specifically. Now, if you are listening and resonating with this podcast with this reading specifically, I would most highly recommend beginning with my subliminal called the Awakened Divine Feminine because this is really designed to fully awaken within you that total divine feminine power to get you in that state of effortless magnetism, which at the same time has the effect of rebalancing your twin flame connection with your divine masculine as well, because your counterpart will instantaneously feel and respond to these deep subconscious energy shifts within you as well. So the link to more information about this subliminal called the Awakened Divine Feminine is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. You can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website, which again is soundandsoulful.com. But for now, I'm going to get back into channeling some more information for this Divine Feminine connecting with this reading. So I'm going to reshuffle the cards here and I want to know how this imbalance we've been speaking about has been unconsciously impacting her twin flame connection with her Divine Masculine counterpart as well. Okay, attachments in the upright position, and this is the number five card, so that might be significant to someone. I'm also seeing someone here with dark hair or curly hair, and also I'm hearing the name Emma for someone as well. Attachment, attachment to outcomes, over-attachment to outcomes here is what I'm feeling, holding so tight to the physical circumstances or outcomes with her divine masculine counterpart because this is coming from a deep-seated space of wow, of not feeling worthy. So this unconscious feeling of lack of worthiness that this divine feminine is healing again, is very unconscious. So she might not even be fully aware that she has this feeling of lack of worthiness, but I'm hearing that for this divine feminine. This is why she finds herself burning herself out, pushing, chasing, really over analyzing things in her life. 
whether it's in work, in finances, in friendships, in her personal life, the reason for this is all stemming from the same place that her twin flame counterpart here is trying to illuminate is trying to bring light to and assist her in healing because of course our twin flame does always assist us in seeing our own most limiting patterns but sometimes through this illumination process there can be a lot of triggering because our ego doesn't want those things in the darkness to be brought into the light so this pattern for this divine feminine is this feeling of unworthiness. I keep seeing a family line here, a mother, a grandmother. So I feel that for many divine feminines, this lack of worthiness was something passed down through your family line, specifically through your maternal line, ultimately reaching you again in those unconscious programs that we are programmed with as the divine feminine and creating this feeling of having to overwork, overextend yourself, or really push in order for good things to happen in your life, in your work, in your finances, in your relationships. This feeling of, I'm hearing boss, so some divine feminine here may be in some kind of a management position or you might have people under you people looking at you in some sense or people looking up to you for guidance, for direction, whether this is in your work life, in your personal life or otherwise, but you also could be someone trying to start your own business. I heard entrepreneur for some. For others, this could be just a very royal energy, what we think of as a boss energy that you carry around yourself because you are someone who came to this planet to be a leader, to be that fully awakened, fully embodied divine feminine goddess that you are and to inspire and lead others through the power of your lights. And the one thing that is holding you back or has held you back most that you are now beginning to receive clarity about or that your guides are trying to give you clarity about is that your greatest limiting factor has been this lack of self-confidence, this lack of feeling fully worthy within yourself to receive the abundance, to receive the love, to receive the success effortlessly as a result of who you are on a soul level, on an energetic level, not as a result of the accumulation of all of your external actions or exertions of efforts so i want to know what else this divine feminine needs to know about her own worthiness whale and orca elders share your song frequency of sound diving deep so i'm hearing that some divine feminine may be involved in the music industry they might be a singer or a musician of some kind or have a gift for this that they are being called to utilize also i heard audio engineer if that connects with anyone also the card weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry and surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So with weight of the world, I heard responsibility. So there could be a divine feminine who feels, this could be going back to the divine feminine who has a lot of people who look to them for guidance, whether this is in their personal life or whether they're in some kind of a leadership or management position. But at times, this role of being a leader could feel like a really heavy responsibility for this divine feminine. So she's really being guided to realize that she can only share her lights and be that beacon that she is for others, that she cannot and it isn't her responsibility to, to fix, to change, or to yeah, to change other people. There's this feeling of this divine feminine knowing that she carries this leadership energy, but not realizing that she didn't come here to be down in the trenches with everyone in the depths of their own lack of alignment, their own despair, their own negativity, but she actually came here to stand in that, I'm hearing on higher grounds, to be that beacon, to be that light, to inspire others with her own happiness, love, connection, and success. 
And with surrender to the sweetness, I'm getting this message of really embracing and living in the present moments, freeing herself from the prison of the past or the prison of the future, because the only freedom that she can find is really in being fully present with herself and with her life. And that's part of what really taps her into that powerful divine feminine energy and magnetism. The embodied awakened divine feminine is very present with herself, with her life, with the moment that is surrounding her. I'm hearing flow state. So there's also a message here for a creative. I'm hearing that someone listening again, whether it's music or your work or something else you're passionate about, there is something here about being in the present with your work or with your art, really allowing yourself to flow with the beautiful inspiration of this thing. Because I see that at times your ego mind, that logical analytical minds steps in and tries to block that inspiration or that creativity by, I'm hearing, making you overanalyze the future, how or when this passionate creative gift is going to fully manifest itself or by trapping you in the past and making you feel this sense of fear, anxiety, or unworthiness. It's like the message I'm getting here is divine feminine. At times your ego tries to keep you stuck in past cycles or dwelling on past negative situations or dynamics or tries to get you to project out this anxiety into the future of how or when all of this is going to work out for you. But your soul, your spirit is really calling you back to this present moment, reminding you that when you are in the flow state, in the present with this creative gift or passion, you are flowing with all the universe. You are in perfect alignment with this beautifully unfolding and perfectly timed future that you are creating so I want to reshuffle the cards here and see if I can channel any messages from this divine feminine or her masculine counterpart because surprisingly so many of these messages for you divine feminine have been about your personal life, about something going on within your work, your creativity, your passions in life. And we haven't seen as many messages about your twin flame counterpart specifically but of course it makes sense that these other messages would come up because as twin flames everything is deeply interconnected and i'm also seeing for you that these energy shifts are really bringing you closer drawing you into closer alignments with your divine masculine but just like with your work and with your passion it's happening in a more effortless way than your ego would allow you to believe it's happening as a result of these powerful energetic shifts you are making within yourself and yeah what i'm getting here with blossoming abundance in the upright position financial constraints and action and action is really sitting on the third eye in the crown chakra, speaking to aligned action, action coming from a space of flow, a space of inspiration. So what I'm seeing here is that the seeds have been planted because blossoming abundance, I see this happening in the past. I see that divine feminine, you have set these intentions into motion, whether it's with your twin flame, divine masculine in your life with your, with your creative passions or gifts, something has been planted through the seed of your intentions and your vision. And in the present with financial constraints upright, I see that part of why you may have been feeling this lack of clarity or these anxieties coming up, this feeling of confusion or chaos is because your ego in the present is trying to get you to focus on the fear, to focus on the limitation, the restriction the uncertainty of this vision that you've planted. But what we're seeing with action in the upright position moving into the future is that as you choose to really shift your powerful focus and attention inward on really holding that clear vision for your future, but also surrendering to the inspired action, you will find that this 
I'm hearing these future action steps, this feeling of clarity on how to move forward will come through the crown chakra, through the third eye, through the intuition, the divine, as you release these fears and anxieties in the present and shift into that state of peace, of flow, of surrender. And I know that might sound a little bit vague, but I also feel that there are specific divine feminines who will know exactly how this resonates for them. Now, I do feel guided to just pull one final card from the Rumi Oracle deck. So what is one final message here? Blood Angel. The number seven card, if that connects with anyone. The Oracle of the Blood Angel comes to you with a particular message. You are being given the gift of more life. You may experience this as growth, expansion, more energy, more life force, or divine electricity circulating through your system. And I see this coming in for you, Divine Feminine, this fresh energy, this inspiration, this clarity in your life. The blood angel understands that in the gift of greater life, which enables a soul to live more of its essence, becoming a more palpable divine presence upon this earth, there are many unavoidable experiences. One of these is that there will be more sunsets to counter the increase in your sunrises. This is about balance. When opening up to receive more, one needs to empty out what has been to allow for a new influx of energy. And I see that emptying out of what has been. I just saw the number 2727, by the way, but that emptying out being how these any negative patterns especially around feelings of worthiness are going to be illuminated more strongly which means at times divine feminine you might feel them more strongly more intensely through this process of growth and expansion because you are being called to release them to fully surrender to the flow of your life, the divine unfolding of your life, but also to simply surrender your ego's fears to the knowing that you are worthy of whatever you are trying to create, attract, or manifest in your life, whether it is something with your twin flame divine masculine or in any area of your life. You are really being called to concrete, to solidify that knowing of your inner worthiness and everything will flow from that place. So I am going to close the reading here and I will be leaving the link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal Meditation, which as I mentioned earlier, is an incredibly powerful tool for really assisting you Divine Feminine in powerfully shifting your energy stepping into that true goddess-like state of being where you become fully and effortlessly magnetic for your desires. And also, of course, this has the effect of rebalancing your twin flame connection externally as well. So more information on that subliminal is in the pinned comments and description box. If you did enjoy this reading, please be sure to subscribe to get new Twin Flame readings, updates, and content on a daily basis. Also, be sure to check back on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I will be posting and sharing more generalized Twin Flame energy updates and messages. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. And I will talk to you again in the next video.